Hello and welcome! My name is Bonnie and today I'm going to be doing something that has been requested a few times. I have been procrastinating but today I'm going to get it done and that is a collection slash bookshelf tour. Today I'm going to take you over to that there bookshelf and section by section I'm going to show you my collection. So I am going to start it off from the top and work my way down each shelving section has its own theme and I will talk about it when we get there. So let's start out at the top. And starting off on top I have my superhero section. Starting on the lower left side I have a Funko Pop of Dash from The Incredibles 2 signed by the voice of Dash and I got that out of a Zobie animation box. On top of him I have a Captain Marvel comic standee and I also have an Avengers comic standee. I used to have a Hulk one as well but I gave that to my father because he's a Hulk collector. Next to him I have a Wasp figure with a switchable head. Right here I have a couple little cute bobbleheads. Here is Thor's hammer as a keychain. I have two hero clicks. My favorite superhero is Captain America, and my husband's favorite hero is Batman, so we have a click for each. I got this Nelson and Murdoch Avocados at Law business card holder from the Loot Vault. And then back here I have three Guardians of the Galaxy statues that my father gave me for Christmas, I believe two Christmases ago. The next shelf up is my anime themed shelf. Starting on the left side right here, I have Vegeta, little Gohan with his four star Dragon Ball on top. I love that outfit. I have Master Roshi and Son Goku on his flying Nimbus cloud. I have a signed Super Saiyan Goku from the first English voice of Goku that came in his Zobie anime box. Right here I have Tien and Chao Tzu. I have Bubbles, King Kai, Puar, Yamcha, and Raditz. Those are all of my Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z pops. Then right up here I have got my favorite character from Naruto, which is Kakashi Sensei. And then I have two figures from My Hero Academia. I have Todoroki and Deku. And I just pulled my necklaces forward. First off, I have this heart from Legend of Zelda. I have the Leaf Village symbol from Naruto. I have this necklace with gems representing the Infinity Stones. I have a four star Dragon Ball necklace. This is the Evan Star from Lord of the Rings. And these are the keys from Ready Player One. This is my most congested shelf. It is my Harry Potter themed shelf. Starting off on the left, I have the Mirror of Erised back here, a Bow Truckle, an Akami. This is an invitation to the Yule Ball. Right here I have little Dementor. Here's Hedwig in a cage, Mrs. Norris, Fang, and the Gaunt family ring. Flying above everyone's heads is a golden snitch, but behind that I have a figure of Newt Scamander and Voldemort. There is a Funko Pop of Quirrell, and they are standing on top of some potions ingredients that I DIY'd. Also a little figure of Harry. Got some Lacewing Flies Gillyweed Flu Powder and some miscellaneous potions ingredients. Then right here, I have a figure of Hermione casting a magic spell. Here is Harry and Luna. Then right front and center, I have the three true Triwizard Champions. And in the very front, a Golden Snitch, which can flutter on its own with the assistance of batteries. Right behind them, I have four Funko Pops of Ron, Hermione, Harry with Hedwig, and Harry with a Mandrake. Right next to these pops, I have got Nagini wrapped around Voldemort's wand. There is a figure of the Hungarian Horntail, and then a necklace replica from Azkaban Prison. Don't know what to call them, it's like a prison identifier, maybe. <laughs> 
And then over here I have a Chocolate Frog card of Gilderoy Lockhart. I have got Newt's Commander and Pickett with the Hufflepuff cup ne necklace next to him. And I have so many Harry Potter necklaces, I can't hang them all up, so I have these ones laying down. There is a pocket watch style necklace, a remember all, and this dainty little snitch. And then we move on to my necklaces. Now first up, I have this owl that's delivering a Hogwarts letter. Then I have Ravenclaw's diadem, which is one of the most beautiful necklaces I have. This is a time turner, Slytherin's locket. This is a little vial of beads representing Hufflepuff's house points. Right here is a uh, Deathly Hollow symbol, the crest for Hogwarts, and then a heart-shaped locket with the Deathly Hollow symbol on it. Next up is a very full and loved section. It is my Disney-themed section. Starting on the lower left corner, again, we will begin with Timothy the Mouse and Dumbo dressed up as a clown. Then right here we have a Lilo and Stitch diorama. Back here I have a Funko Pop of Beauty and the Beast. I have the live action bell, but the cartoon version of the Beast. There is Stitch hanging out in the back corner and Sorcerer Mickey overlooking everyone. Coming down to the side, I have got a Winnie the Pooh plush, a Bandleader Mickey Pop pen, a Baby Dumbo Funko Pop. Here is Chip in his cup form. Then I have some keychains that have come from Disneyland. Here's a little Olaf eating some cake. I have Anna, Cinderella, Snow White, Maleficent in dragon form, Ursula, and the Evil Queen. Right next to them, I have Doc in some really cool shades. He did not come with these sunglasses, but I thought they suited him, so he wears those now. I have got a metal fig of Peter Pan, Wally, Minnie Mouse, and Mickey Mouse. Then I have some snow globes from Disneyland. And I have a snow globe of Belle from Box Lunch. <laughs> right over here, I have a Daisy metal fig and a Mickey, or excuse me, Donald that I got from Disneyland, and then a Donald from Kingdom Hearts in a little bubble. Then we come up to my Jim Shore figure of Snow White and her prince. We have Piglet. This is a gold carriage from Cinderella that is also a speaker. And then flying above everyone is Tinkerbell. My next shelf is my Star Wars themed shelf. Starting with the left side as usual, I have Anakin Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Ahsoka Tano, and Captain Rex. Now if you have not seen the Clone Wars TV show or Rebels, you probably don't know who these two are. Now up here I have Rey with her lightsaber and I have Darth Vader in the back with a little smooch on him. I gave that to my husband for Valentine's Day many years ago. Right down here in the front, I have a few tiny little figures of K2SO, Cassian Andor, a Shore Trooper, and a Death Trooper. And right behind these guys, I have a speaker that is in the shape of the Millennium Falcon. Right over here, I have Boba Fett leading Han Solo Frozen and Carbonite back to Jabba's palace. Right in front, I have these cute little spaceship racers. There's a Boba Fett, a Luke Skywalker, and an Emperor there. Here in the corner, there is a little Rey and Chewbacca figure. Right here, I have Rey holding her staff and a lightsaber. And then I have some Funko Mystery Minis. Now these are not even all of my mystery minis. My father is a collector and he gave me so, so many of his doubles. So I have some in storage. I can't even display them all, there's so many. But here are my favorites that I have on display. We have C3PO here. I believe his name is BB9. Here's BB8, R2D2. Here is Chewbacca with C3PO dismantled on his back. Yoda, Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, this is either a dark trooper or a shadow trooper, and then Greedo back here. And then I have some other fun figures. I have 
Boba Fett. I have Bosk. He did not come with this hat, but another character I thought looked great with an accessory. And then I have Padme Amidala, Anakin Skywalker, Ahsoka Tano, and Rey back there. And then my last bookshelf to show you is my Fallout themed bookshelf. I'm not going to give you a close up of all my pins today. That's going to be another video when it gets a little bit more full. And why break tradition now? Starting off on the left, I have a figure of Hancock. He is a ghoul and a great companion. Here is Codsworth. I have a Funko Pop of George Washington. Now George Washington is not a character in Fallout, but in Fallout 4 they have a museum about the Revolutionary War, and he was a big part of the Re Revolutionary War, so I figured I'll throw him in with my Fallout collection. Here we have a Pip-Boy bobblehead. A pit boy figure that came from the loot crate. I have the Lone Wanderer male and female Funko Pop versions. I have Dog Meat wearing his armor, a replica terminal, and then I have three weapons that all came from Fallout loot crates. This is the Broad Cider, this is a Fat Man, and this is Adam's Judgment. That is everything that I have to show you today from my bookshelf collection. I hope that you enjoy getting a little in-depth tour of all of my collectibles. Let me know what shelf was your favorite, if you had a favorite item, if you have any of the same things that I do, I'd love to hear about it. So drop a comment down below and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I really do hope that you liked it and I hope to see you again soon. So until next time, goodbye and good luck.